Hello, uh, this is Murph. I'll show you how to install Citizen Center uh, from the uh, Citizen Server. Uh, okay, so to uh, I, on my previous video, I showed you how to install Zen Server as a nested guest on top of VMware Fusion. So if you want to learn about that, just watch that video. <clears throat> so I have the server running here as a VM right now. It's 192.168.1.115 and it's reachable from my home network. So the Zen Center is the application that basically allows you to access the Zen server and manage it and create VMs and, and, and whatnot. So since uh, I use bridge networking on my VM, I should be able to connect from my Windows box, so which I'm right now RDP'd into right now. So I, I basically uh, browse to this site, which is the Zen server, and then I download it already from this link. You can also download ISO if you want. And I'm going to double click on this. Say run. Say next. All is fine. Install. And it's done. So Windows 2012, so you can use in a uh, Windows 8 or Windows 7 should be okay. So here I have Zen Center. Okay, so sure, why not? I can check for update. Okay, uh, I'm going to right click, add. Okay, I should be able to so I can put the IP address if I want. Root password. So while installing Zen you server, you select a root password. Okay, I can save the information so that I don't have to put this password every time. I can just uh, just default here. Don't need a master password. And here you go. I just added my uh, Zen server. So once you install Zen server for the first time, you may need to license. So there, there are some instructions in the website. Uh, but at this point, I should be able to create uh, VMs on the Zen server or upload a, a DVD image if I want. So uh, I can do all that. So. Uh, I hope this helps. Thank you for watching.